Well, Grant, how about the importance of this holiday, especially when you think about everything that Dr. Martin Luther King stood for? You know, what an honor and a privilege to play today. I mean, it's really inspiring, even after all these years. And you can tell both of these teams are grateful to be playing on this day right now. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans starting lineup. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. And it's McCollum at the one. White can't hit. And so it's Valanchunas who brings up the ball for New Orleans. McCollum looking it over. Alan Chunas with a screen on Holiday. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Christoph Porzingis picks one up. Alan Chunas fancy with the ball work down there to draw the foul. Misses the free throw. And Valanciunas, a uh, seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of patrolling the paint. He hits the second from the line. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Pass to Brown. Now Tatum. 4-3. Pure from three-point range. With his feet set, Tatum's going to make you pay. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Here's McCollum. Rebound Boston. I saw a green light there. But he's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Back to White. It's not going to go for him. Jones with some nice D. Pass to Ingram. Uneasy two on the layup. Ingram that time just staying with that shot and knocking it down. The Celtics have gone one for three so far. Outside White. Brown with it from behind the arc. No good. Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. Ingram against Brown. Outside Ingram. Clock at six. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Well, Porzingis, the height, the reach, just overpowering. It's McCullum with a drive. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And the basket by Holiday. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's McCullum, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. Al Horford's checked in for Tatum. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Back to Williamson. Six to shoot. Oh, Williamson throws it down! Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. And that was our AT&T 5G slam can bringing you the sauce.
50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. On the wing, Holiday. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. To the right side. And here's Brown for three. Valanchunas with a rebound. For New Orleans, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Pass to Hawkins from deep. Rebound Boston. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. An interconference matchup. Now, last year, they beat this team in both games. Here's Brown. Three-pointer, Holiday. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Holiday's got five now. Fairly efficient from the three-point line. Holiday can punish you from the arc. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Celtics out in front. They're up by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And welcome back to our NBA coverage on this very special MLK Day. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside the defense pretty lost. Brent, you were a two-time NBA champion. So you must have the secret recipe. What wins in the playoffs? Well, Tim Duncan, B.A.? <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, you need a team. It can't be a one-man show. And you need that collective to come together and be playing their best basketball at the biggest time of the year. We've seen these heliocentric offenses, ones built around one superstar, and that becomes too predictable of an offense or one where a guy can't struggle. If they struggle, the team goes home. So championships are won by teams, B.A. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Delano Banton out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Cornette in at center. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about his dunking prowess. But really, Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. Back to Pritchard. Good, and it's Horford who picks up the assist. Pritchard's got his first points of the game. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Allie. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Hawkins. Launches a three. Drops in the three. I'll tell you what. They are on fire this quarter, taking total command of this game. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Tatum inside. It's Tatum working inside. And sometimes you forget how long Tatum is, and he's terrific at using this to his advantage inside. Pass to Hawkins. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. And Nance with the slam. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And the basket by Mikhailuk. And when he was younger, Tatum would often try to do it all himself. But now he wants to keep everybody involved. New Orleans calls timeout.
A big group substitution here for Boston. Porzingis has checked in for Cornette. Jalen Brown comes in for Horford. White, he's checked in for Mikhailuk. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. One forty four left to play in the first half and out of bounds Boston will have it Brent you just never know what you're going to see from Zion when he's on the floor. Well it's been so great. I mean exhilarating when he's healthy. I just wish that that would be something we'd see more and more often easily one of the most dominant forces in the NBA. Alvarado's checked in for New Orleans. Now here's Tatum. Twenty seven points his last game. Five on the clock. Porzingis with a screen on Jones. The shot by Holiday, no good. For New Orleans, they've gotten off to a perfect four for four start of the second. Williamson passes to Alvarado. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Alvarado, left side. Here's Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're big or small. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zion on the inside. Porzingis with a screen on Ingram. And here's Brown for three. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Count it. And now a three-point Pelican lead. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Holiday finds Tatum. Ingram against Brown. Back to Tatum. The three. Oh, count it! Tatum hits from way out. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Right side, Jones. The three is up. And another three for New Orleans. And Brandon Ingram at that size, able to survey the entire floor and make a play. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Pelicans ahead, up three. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Good to be with you for halftime. Let's check in on the NBA action coming up later tonight. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand at a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. Now moving on to the Boston Celtics and the close first half they played. When you get hot from the distance, you're always in the game. Question is, what more can they do to pull ahead? I'm just not seeing it. Your vision is cloudy, Shaq Stradamus. What's happened to that crystal ball, man? That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day as we return to the court here on 2K Sports. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So for New Orleans right now, Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. The backcourt, McCullough and Jones, and it's Ingram in at the three spot. Well, when Ingram is this aggressive offensively, the refs notice it too. Shoot. 
two. And he can't get the first one. And looking at Brandon Ingram's game, Brent, a lot of similarities to Kevin Durant. Yeah, most of that B.A. comes with the build-out, right? Just a slender guy who can get the job done offensively. But this guy can create problems for defenses, and he can also defend and cover his spot. And he's good on the second. Ingram just continuing to impress and taking strides in the right direction. Just a tremendous amount of offensive weaponry. Pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Williamson. Now here's Porzingis. Valanchunas covering. Here's Brown. Oh, Brown with a tough jumper. A superb mid-range shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Zion Williamson is doing his homework. He said, quote, I watched a lot of old school players and I tried to figure out their mindsets and all of their mindsets were the same. People remember winners. So whenever the time comes for me to be done with the game of basketball, I want them to say he was a winner. Guys, he's on his way. So true. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Porzingis. No points yet. White for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. And the Celtics lead by one. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. McCollum, soft touch off the glass. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Tatum against Williamson. Pass to Holiday. Outside Tatum from downtown. The Pelicans pull it in. Looking ahead to their next game, playing at Dallas, they'll match up against the Mavericks. It's the last leg of what's been a daunting road trip. Six games in total. Now here's McCollum. Outside Jones. Ingram on the wing. Jacks up a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Practically a block. Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Brown against Jones. Pass to McCullum. Over Holiday. And that one's long. Boston has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Outside Tatum. Porzingis sets a screen. Leaner from distance. Tatum's shot is good. Tatum's got 13. It's not surprising to see Tatum taking over offensively. I mean, he's capable of doing this on a nightly basis. McCollum, the pass to Jones. Back to McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Holiday. Here's McCollum. And again, New Orleans, no good. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Brown, that's good. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Alan Chunas sets a screen. Ingram, the pass to Alan Chunas. And Porzingis with the block. Pass to Tatum. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. Porzingis with a screen on Williamson. Here's Tatum, and it's Boston scoring again. Oh, the ball handling of Tatum. It's what separates him from other star wings. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Celtics out in front, up five. And we'll return shortly.
And thanks for staying with us, folks, for our MLK Day broadcast of NBA action. We've got Jason Tatum, Al Horford out there with Luke Cornett. Then there's Peyton Pritchard, and it's Hauser in at the three. That's the Boston Five. Here's Daniels. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Daniels has got his first basket. Cutting into this lead, they're well within striking distance. Yeah, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Boston. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. And you want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. That free throw, no good. Uh, this is a young player who you do not want to send to the free throw line. Trey Murphy, just about automatic. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Porzingis has checked in for Cornette. Jalen Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Horford. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. And he sinks the second. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Holiday passes to Brown. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. What a pass and what a slam. <laughs> Tatum finishing off a pretty alley-oop. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Here's Williamson. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Porzing is surveying the floor. Six on the shot clock. Porzingis with a screen on McCullum. Holiday from long range. Rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Tunis has got a rebound number five here tonight. McCullum, the pass to Williamson. Back to McCullum to take the lead. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. And the Pelicans lead by one. And this is part of the patience of C.J. McCollum. In-air adjustments with the defender on him. You have to like that body control. Pass to Holiday. Now Tatum. Rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Tunis has got six rebounds now in the game. Now here's McCollum. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And the Pelicans making a change here. Ingram's checked in. Tatum against Williamson. Outside White. Brown is screen on Jones. 11 feet out. Here's the teardrop, and there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by White. Oh, assertive play there by Brown. Rising to the challenge of the moment. McCullum outside. Ingram against Brown. McCullum outside. Yes! <laughs> now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. And I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? And Boston calls time here. They're trailing by one. 52 seconds left in the fourth.
let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. And they were blunt with their team, telling them if they want to win, the comeback has to start right now. They can't waste any possessions. Plus, they told the players, we need some stops. A very direct way to communicate, Brian. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Pulls it from the top of the key. Tatum can't hit. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. McCollum outside. Puts up a deep three. Oh, nails the triple! And McCollum's pace hasn't changed, even under pressure. This is do or die time. They must play flawlessly. And Boston calls time here. They're behind by four. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Tatum, beyond the arc. Austin again missing. He's lost his momentum in a big hurry. Coming off an excellent quarter, now he just can't find the bucket. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. Shooting two. Hits the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Every free throw is crucial in a close game. Nice work at the line. Tatum way outside. Boston no good that time either. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm up. So maybe just a step too far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
first free throw is good. And that makes it a seven point lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Holiday finds White. Holiday with the ball. From deep three point land. Can't connect. And so it's New Orleans winning this one. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. C.J., there are always doubters about this team's capability to win at the highest levels. How much fuel do you take from that? Honestly, I got enough motivation. I got it out the mud. I went to Lehigh University. You know what I'm saying? No one's ever been drafted from there before. So for me, it's just about showing what I can do every night and keeping the door open for the next mid-major. I love that you never lost that underdog mentality. Thanks, CJ. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCollum.